heard of Catasfy hyped up on caffeine. Been doing this way too long. Uh, but we're we're gonna tie a tube intruder similar to this. Here's here's one with blue wing, here's one with a purple wing. Uh, I'm gonna I'm going to really try to zip through this because I know everybody needs to really get back to work and you never know when the boss is going to show up and you want to know what you, how that project's coming. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spin on a nice fuzzy, let's see how can I say this in a matter that's politically correct? Nate, what is the bumpy back portion of a fly referred to as? The rump? Uh, I'll, I take rump, sure. <laughs> I thought it was the butt, but you know, I'm, rump works for me. So we're going to put a nice bright color. This is STS Trilobal Dublin. It's a synthetic fiber, and uh, we have a pri pr proprietary blend of about every bright color that Caroline makes. It's pretty cool. And that's just nice and fuzzy and fish attracting. And now we're going to put on a collar of UV Polar Chenille in gold. And by the way, I'm going to, I should mention, I left about a half an inch of tube without anything tied on it. And I'm not putting too much pressure on this tube. Because otherwise I would bend it or crush it. And we've gone over that. This, uh, this UV polar chenille is just amazing stuff. By the way, I ran the base of that polar chenille all the way forward to create a, um, a base. I ran the base. I ran the stem all the way forward to create a base for my body. Um, a little zapagap. Do you need that? No. I normally use head cement, but I left mine at home. I have my pre-cut. Lagerton silver, silver oval holographic mini flat braid. I'm carefully not gluing my fingers to the body. Yeah, So I'm going to put this on. No, I'm not sure on that. This mini flat braid is great. It's bright. It's nice and wide. It is very durable and. It uh, really conforms to the, to the uneven shape. Now I'm going to put a little, a short bump of, again, STS Trilobal. This is sort of like a rebel coachman in some respects. It has a rump, it has a, what, a shoulder? A chest, a thorax. Do steelhead flies have thoraxes? So far, I've got a rump <laughs> so and a chest. Far. Okay. <laughs> so we got a little. This is purple with some black and some silver ice dub mixed in. Boy, is it tasty! So now, Nate, you want a blue wing or a purple wing? Think purple. 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 Arctic Fox. Do steelhead like deep purple? It's grape. Yes, they do. These little Arctic Fox tail sections are really nice. Um, I didn't cut enough. No sense skimping, but it's a trick because I'll probably get too much now. Oh, just right. Pick out a little bit of the under fur. Make this wing sparse, not too sparse, just the right amount of sparseness. On it goes. A little bit of mirage, flash boo. We have all sorts of things around, all sorts of fly, fly tying delights. Three strands. Again, watch your pressure. You see me take a honk on that and it starts to bend over. 
There's my flash secured. Okay, let's throw a marabou hackle on there. If you've watched any of these, you know I'm partial to tying marabou in by the tip. One reason is it gives us a nice, fine center quill to wind. I like to fold my hackles by running the scissors along there. My hackle pliers are down here on the floor. That was really good. I'd hold it with my fingers. Marabou, it's a little bit wild. If you don't mind the taste of dye, you can control it. I put about three turns on there. And then I blindly reach in and cut the stem and hope I don't cut my thread. I don't think I did. There we go. So, intruders can take a long time to tie. Now here's one part that's a little bit tricky. The wing is here. I'm going to loosen my tube, roll it over so the wing is underneath the fly, tighten it up again, and now I'm going to add on my barbell eye. The reason I did that is that I want the barbell on the underside, the opposite side of the wing, that will help this fly ride with the wing up. It will help tell the fly which way is up and which way is down. The flies like to know that, you know. So now I'm going to spin on a head with a dubbing loop. And if I wanted the contrast I could use a real bright color but since I have that hot pinkish shrimpish glowingish at the rump of the fly I'm going to use a purple up here got my dubbing teaser right there around the far side around the near side, around the near side, and since that's that, finish it off. Since I can't stand it, because there's just a little bit too much tube showing there, a sense of workmanship won't let me allow to ignore that. Let me allow, won't allow me to ignore that. That's going to look cool. Um, I would think it's pretty close to the end of the way. Finish that off. And in just an instant, I will show you So, I will be able with the Barbell eyes down, I will be able to attach my hook with the hook riding up, which is the way, if given a choice, we'd like to do it. Here you go.